Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion DC, your teammate Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Habib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history. And it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts. He has fantastic striking. He has unbelievable wrestling, coupled with his sambo in the ground control, in the ground and pound of Habib Nurmagomedov is second to none, one of the most damaging, dominant fighters the UFC has ever seen. He is a man of principle, and no one knows better than you. There may be guys who work as hard in the game, but no one works harder than him. Nobody works harder. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Nurmagomedov is 13 years the elder. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. All right, just about ready to go here. Now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall. Weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting at an obvious Samoa, ferocious. And now to defeat his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Imago Meda. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we are, the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong and we've been on the president. John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards and some of the biggest moments in UFC history. And now if the Knicks can just get their acts together. Knicks will never get their acts together, and I'm okay with it. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his turn. Nice punch, land. Beautiful combination there.
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? to the outside of the lead leg that they say. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the street. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! And now he lands a combination. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pen start to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, bone on bone, shin slash foot, right to the skull. You see why I'm a commentator and not a fighter? You see why? Yeah, those are fun. I'm telling you, man, you get kicked in the head a lot of times since the end of the night. You got a little experience with that. Yes, time. I do. A little bit. Horrible. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head of the clinch. Nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Nermago Medov's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Look at how he drives the knee right into the opponent's midsection. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. The right hook to the body. Oh, and he caught the kick. Nermago Medov gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Huge knee lands for this goal. Big kick land. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Right hand punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Five single collar tie now. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. In terms of the knee strikes, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. Just nasty. I mean, just nasty knees. The moment he finds those opportunities to really drive his knee home, drive it into your body, he throws them and he throws them with absolute force. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick and all like... Whoa! What a fantastic 
strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be over the critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab is going so well, he drops a big right hand after it. He may be able to finish the Back to the feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Back and forth we go. Oh, big knee. Oh. Back to the feet. Oh, big left. He's in trouble. He's hurt oh. bad. Well, he's up. But he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Takedown defense holds up. You see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Well, single collar tie here. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a wool beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has caused frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Single collar tie, and they separate. Beautiful body to land right on the other. Right hand. Oh! Maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle, Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.